iron 3 we take a sample of iron 3 about 1 to 2 cubic centimeter depth and add a few drops of sodium hydroxide a brick red or brown precipitate has been formed adding excess sodium hydroxide to the precipitate of iron 3 it is insoluble in excess and we take a free sample of a solution containing iron 3 we want to see the effect of aqueous ammonia on iron 3 in solution then add few drops of aqueous ammonia is a brick red precipitate excess ammonia the precipitate of iron 3 is insoluble in excess of aqueous ammonia the next one is copper 2 1 to 2 cubic centimeter depth of a solution containing copper 2 few drops of aqueous sodium hydroxide blue precipitate addition of excess aqueous sodium hydroxide to the blue precipitate of copper precipitate is insoluble in excess Let's see the effect of aqueous ammonia on copper 2 ions in solution. Take a free sample of copper 2. Few drops of aqueous ammonia. The light blue precipitate. Addition of excess ammonia to the light blue precipitate of copper. Wow, the precipitate dissolved in excess to form a dark blue solution. This is due to formation of a complex ion, which is tetraamino copper 2 ion.